Hi, my name is Long Hong, and I'm here to talk about biochemistry, about the um, four macromolecules, protein, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. The four biological molecules consist of protein, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acids. They are the most um, important molecules in the world because they make up every living thing. They are sources of energy as well as storage of energy. Let's start off with protein. Protein are made up of amino acids that make up enzymes which produces polypeptides where they will join and make protein. The protein that we consume would make up or uh, provide antibodies and create pro protein hormones. Some examples of high protein food consider beef, chicken, fish, milk that we drink, tofu, beans, cheese, eggs, and tuna. Mostly when you see, you know, people who, um, workout needs eats a lot of high protein food in order to sustain their muscle um, recovery now we move on to carbohydrates carbohydrates are a source of all energy they are made up of sugars called mo monosaccharides they make up glucose fructose and sucrose the uses of carbohydrates is to um, storage energy and repel water they store energy by using uh, by by starch. When most athletes before a game or a competition were most likely eat a lot of carbohydrates to store the energy which would then later be used when during their competition. Some carbohydrates examples such as bread, rice, it could be brown rice or white rice, you have cheese, and pasta uh, and carbs such like pasta they was um they have high um they will store energy um a lot in your body next we have lipids lipids um cannot dissolve in water because they are nonpolar and water is polar so they will never mix together um lipids consist of saturated fats and unsaturated fats Saturated fats are fats that are really are really bad for your body and unsaturated fats are the ones that's actually good for your body. Some examples of um lipids could be um um corn oil, different types of oil, coconut oil, and other bad like saturated fat could be fats like duck fat, um meat fat, all of other um saturated fat that we get. Lastly, we have nucleic acids. Nucleic acids makes up our composition. They would um, join together in strands and combine and make uh, DNA and RNA, which, is, which provides genetic information, the way we look, the way how we are. And those, the structure of DNA and RNA consists of these um, nucleic acids joined together to different type of strand called adenine, guanine, cy cy cytosine, and thymine. These pairs would um, arrange with each other to create up our genetic information. This is why it's so important to create a human, you know. So that is pretty much um, my presentation. Thank you for listening and